Well, you've probably heard of a prenup. Maybe you even have one. A financial agreement some couples make before they tie the knot, just in case it doesn't last. But what about a postnup? CBS 2's Lori Perez tells us there's a growing trend of more and more married couples sitting down, one of them saying, we need to talk <laughs> money. Deciding who gets what piece of the pie if happily ever after isn't forever. It isn't easy. But it is, says Woodland Hills attorney Peter Walzer, smart talk. He's helped a lot of couples plan how to divide their assets if they split up. Aside from when they make that plan, a prenup is before the marriage, a postnup is after. The main difference is that in postmarital agreements, you have to detail and disclose the value of everything you own money, property, stocks from before and after the marriage. Nearly half of matrimonial lawyers have reported an increase in the number of postnups over the past three years. What does bring this up is if one spouse is gambling, they're, they're into drugs, they are a chronic spender, they're running up the credit cards. A lot of times we get a call and just say we're not ready for a divorce but we need to do something now. He's worked with couples in second marriages who want to take care of children from the first marriage and with pairs where someone is cheated and wants to show they're willing to face serious financial consequences if they stray again. Both parties show what they have and then can decide how to divide it as long as they're together and also if things go sour. But Walzer says postnups aren't only for when there's trouble in paradise. I just inherited a million dollars. We got to deal with this. Which sounds good sitting in his Woodland Hills office, but in the real world. I would laugh. <laughs> Just like I'm laughing now. <laughs> Paired up people said someone asking for a postnup sounds like nothing but trouble. I don't know how I would handle that. I don't think I would go for it. You made a deal, you can't be changing the deal after you've. Uh... You've uh, tied the knot, so to speak. Walzer doesn't disagree. It can be awkward, but says coming to him for a postnup is better than coming to him for a divorce. If you're not honest, you're not going to get to a level of intimacy. In Woodland Hills, Lori Perez, CBS 2 News.